Hello everybody. I'm gonna try to do a couple of topics this week and then post one next week or whatever because they don't there's no time frame to it. But anyway, this one's change and uh I was just kind of really bummed out. <laughs> Went to a bicycle shop to get a bike and uh dude's been there forever, local business and he's going out because they want to up the rent there's no rent control and so it was like from five grand he said seven grand and like years before that it was like three or two so he put up with five and then once it went to seven he was just like are you kidding me and mind you the owner is like i guess the typical just like lives in a good neighborhood drives a fast car owns multiple properties so he doesn't care and I just, it just bums, it just bums me out. Cause I've been, I was like driving around my neighborhood area where I grew up. And I'm just like, there's just so much going that's just been around forever. It's sad, you know, he told me one called the Bistro, the W's Bistro. And that was interesting. You know, I dated a gal whose uncle owned it. And I'm like, oh, that's trippy. It's gone. <laughs> that's gone. But then like he'd named a few places in San Pedro grinders I think was one of them or the, the one I knew I'm like all right lame freaking mulligans which is like a golf place <laughs> that's gonna be gone there's no, no like arcade place for kids to hang out anymore one called PV Bowl that was another place I grew up in bowl that gone and my fear my fear like the change doesn't bother me so much as as like what's gonna replace it you know, is it going to be a business thing or is it going to be like freaking apartments? And I had somebody ask me, well, what's what's wrong with apartments? Well, the, the only thing I, I have no issue with people finding homes, but I have issues with this cycle, you know, like rent control for one or overpopulation. Like nobody wants <laughs> nobody wants their town to like be, you know, traffic filled. You can't get anywhere. It's not pleasant anymore. It's no longer a neighborhood. It's more industrial. It's more like a city or whatever. But it was still sad. Just got rid of all these like mom and pop places, these places that have been around forever. You know, the owner was saying like, the only thing that's going to stick around are these chain places. And it's just, I remember a brewing company that we supported. They brewed their own beers. And then they said in order to survive, they had to then just have a, an array of beers, not just brew their own. So they couldn't afford to brew their own and have a bunch of beers. So they only had a bunch of beers, which then like seems kind of like counterintuitive because you're just like, well, don't you, I mean, that's what, what, made, what made you special was having your own beer. <laughs> and now you just got what everyone else has. So we don't go there anymore just because it's like they really had to like do their survival thing but it went from like cozy and intimate to like you know a, a neighborhood thing to them just adopting the lame trends so they're just bummer all these mom and pop places going and it's just because like you know LA doesn't really have like rent control and all these places you know you just jack it up jack it up like a few grand I mean God. <laughs> yeah like Nothing kills me more than like, you know, you just mind your own business and all of a sudden the owner, for no reason, it's just like, just do it. And it's funny because I go to city council meetings and I learn both sides, you know, it's important because sometimes you get crappy tenants and, you know, in order to kind of get them out and get better tenants, you raise up the rent, rent to get, you know, higher valued people. And then you get the people who just been there forever and then you still have like a dick owner who just wants you out because they want to do their own thing you know which is like in a way it's like fair enough because they own the land and it's like hey if one day i want to do something with it i can it's my thing but it's also just sad because the dude said he's there for 50 years <laughs> so, damn. my whole life plus some i'm like you know that's just that's where it becomes unfair and just kind of just sounds wrong and it just breaks my heart because it's just you know, I, I like change. I'm one of those old school people who's a little fearful of it just because I know that usually that what comes with it is just more people. Like, usually the change is really that cool or worth it. 
like a, a school in my neighborhood got torn down only to be uh, apartments for old folks home it's cool you know and then years ago another school got torn down just to be really um, expensive homes <laughs> it's like cool <laughs> So uh, just that's what bums me out. It's like if the building goes down, is it just gonna be apartments? Are we just gonna see like you know what I mean? And I'm also t I don't like the trend of like businesses below the apartments. I just stuck, stuck, stuck. Talked to a like a anthropologist friend of mine and just kind of talking about how uh you know what do you want? Because there's a give and take with everything. Do you want to go wide? And then all that country that you have at one point is now homes or do you want to go tall but then you know hell if you live there it sucks because then all of a sudden you're you know this neighborhood that wasn't so sprawled out or wasn't so dense is now dense because they they built tall you know case in point is uh orange county you know they were named Orange County for a reason. Orange Groves. And then it's like, I don't think there's a single Orange Grove area now in Orange County. So it's just, that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm just sad. But it just kind of broke my heart today. And I guess I'll roll into the next topic, which is about bullies. But yeah, I think that's all I needed to say about this. Just sad. All these places. I'm saying this out loud because it's like interesting to hear about uh, places I used to go to that are going to be gone now. And replaced with whatever lame thing like it's trippy that you go to the mall and instead of an arcade there's like a vr thing like it's cool like that's with present time but it's also like there's no arcade <laughs> it's like no arcades anymore no places for kids to kind of just like hang out they're all kind of dwindling and you wonder why kids are just like on their phones all the time anyway uh next topic <laughs>